bloke, Craigie. Uh, and a very honest man that uh, you always knew where you stood with him. Uh, a fierce competitor, um, a worthy competitor. Uh, we always knew if we got him and Alan not cheaply, uh, that we would bowl England out for next to nothing, it seemed. And uh, we rarely got both of them cheaply. I'll put it that way. He was he was a fantastic competitor, cheeky as you like, on the field, and that was good. I think we enjoyed that. Um, and it's very, very sad for his family, uh, his wife and family. It's just it's one of those things, I guess, that happens. And uh, uh, very sad. Yeah, of course, last year he was uh, struggling with his, his health. Uh, initially, he thought he might have had bronchitis, uh, and then he was uh, diagnosed with the lung cancer. Yeah, I saw him... Uh, uh, last in uh, in Dubai in September, um, when he was covering the Australia versus Pakistan matches, I was there as a selector, and uh, I had dinner with him um, at the Atlantis Hotel, actually, which was a fabulous evening, and we told a lot of old stories and a lot of old lies to each other. Uh, it was really good, and uh, it was a very very pleasurable evening over a couple of bottles of good Australian red and uh, we both went home very happy I reckon and uh, we won't be able to do that again. No, we're all happy, happy memories there at, at least for you. Uh, Rod Marshall was well known as a, as a very nice bloke but I guess like any test captain for a national team he was also a pretty strong minded one. Oh yeah, you have to be as a, a captain of your country and uh, I think the fact that he uh, <laughs> wasn't really a an Englishman, uh, I think that even made him more determined to uh, be a strong person on the field, and that he was. And, uh, you know, his, his record, I think he averaged uh, over 40 with a bat, and when you have a look at him, you know, if you have a look at some old footage, you, you wonder how he could possibly have averaged 40 with a bat, the way he handled it, uh, but he did. And, uh, I mean, he took, I don't know, 140-odd test wickets, 180 test wickets, whatever it was, and, you know, he wasn't the greatest bowler going around, but when he wasn't bowling medium pace, he bowled off breaks, which were pretty innocuous, it seemed, but he got wickets. And I think uh, he got wickets because he willed himself to get wickets. And, you know, you like those sort of players in your team. We've just been watching some, some of the footage of uh, those old, old days, and it's no exaggeration to say he's, he certainly has been one of the, the icons of the modern game. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know as a player whether he was an icon. I, I think in some ways he, he'll be remembered more for his commentary in Australia, uh, which is, I don't think that's a, a bad thing to say about him because he was very special as a commentator. I think he, uh, you know, he got the place uh, alive and working, that Channel 9 com commentary box. And, uh, he, look, he just had a great personality. And, uh, you know, that's the sort of thing you, you want... People like to listen to people with personality, and he certainly uh, had plenty of that. I remember many years ago, I was, I, was, I was lucky enough to sit in the commentary box with him while he was, uh, he was uh, at that uh, task on, on the job. And I have to say, a lot of the, the, uh, the best commentary was uh, that that was uttered out of range of the, uh, the lip mics that they would use. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look, he's, uh, as I say, a very colourful character and... Uh, He'll be sadly missed in the world of cricket, uh, not only in Australia and England, but uh, in South Africa, Sri Lanka. He was uh, legendary in, in Sri Lanka. He spent a lot of time there. Um, he spent a lot of time on the subcontinent. He, he loved the game and uh, he served the game very well. He was uh, recently immortalised, I guess you, you could say, in that television series, How's That?, which... Uh, was documented the development of World Series cricket, a time when uh, it wouldn't have been for for the faint-hearted being a part of uh, cricket in those days. Well, he probably had more to lose than anyone by signing you know, with Kerry Packer. Uh, he lost the uh, England captaincy, but I think uh, if if we were able to ask him uh, why he signed, I think it was to you know give him and his family a new life in Australia, and he got that pretty well sorted with Kerry. And uh, they were great mates, of course. And, uh, you know, he told some fantastic stories about going hunting with Kerry in India, in uh, South Africa and Kenya and places like that. And, I mean, he, some of the stuff, that, the stories he used to be able to tell, you know, we'd just sit and listen and, uh, and love because uh, he, he told them well and <laughs> he told them with plenty of colour. He, he, was, he was fantastic. 
as his employers at Channel 9 have uh, acknowledged, as, as a player who was uh, the cricket captain that we love to hate. But he was also extremely popular as, as a sporting figure in Australia and he, he had uh, an, a, an advertising uh, career, I guess you could say, which uh, was no doubt lucrative. Well, I think, you know, the reason Australians like him is because uh, they probably thought he was a bit like most Australians. You know, he was, as a sportsman, he was brash. He was willing to take anyone on. Uh, he took Lillian Thompson on in 74-5, and uh, anyone that could take those two on, I can tell you, uh, they didn't have a faint heart. And Tony Gregg certainly didn't have a faint heart, even though you know it was a heart attack that got him in the end. This is uh, fresh news, uh, obviously, Rod Marsh. I don't want to put you on the on the spot, but what do you think his enduring legacy will prove to be? Oh, look, I think that of a fierce competitor, uh, an outstanding commentator, uh, a very honest man. He was prepared to take on anyone in the cricket world. He said what he thought, and uh, most of his thoughts were pretty spot on. Uh, of course, that could be argued, but, uh, you know, he, he was a... It was just good for the game of cricket.